But I'm saying that we can turn things around. We can get back to some of these things that worked. We can. And may I say, it's necessary. It is. If you, if you want to get there, now, because why? What's the reason? For the Lord will do amazing things. Here's the reason. Some of you got something great coming in July. And now you got to be preparing for someone. Some of you got a, an open door coming in June, in, in August. God, some of you, listen, God is working some amazing things. 2023 is going to be a year where something explodes, breaks open in your life. Something you've been praying for and you're a child of God. God's going to deliver it to you. He wants to. He wants to bless you. So we're preparing we're, we're getting ready. So what we're doing is we're preparing our hearts. We're cleaning up some things. It's not a matter of uh, the extra. It's a matter. You know what makes you strong? The internal. That's why Jesus says, don't look at the outward, what the scriptures Paul said. Don't look at, look at the inward. What I'm talking about being strong is an inward thing. Now, I did think of this. What are we made up of? Joshua told the people, consecrate yourselves. So, yourselves, what is your, you, yourselves, made up of? Body, soul, and spirit. I, I tried and to, to, to I, I studied all three a little bit, but maybe that's the compartments of ourselves. What do you mean? Body, their flesh, soul. I don't know, some of it, some people attach that with the spirit, but I look at that as who you are, your integrity, what you've become, how you conduct yourself, your soul, your spirit. That's your connection with Jesus. So here's what we do. We need to make all three, we need to make ourselves stronger in all areas. That tells me that I got to do a better job, especially the older we get, with our body. You, you got to do those things. You got to eat right. You got to do some, some not, even if there are little things, you got to do some, some basic things. If we're going to get stronger, as long as you're on your earth, do what you know to do. The second thing is, is soul, treat people well. You know how you're going to get stronger? You know how you're going to get more condensed, consecrated? If you're good to someone, if you do some acts of service, you're going to feel, wow, you're going, to, you're going to get stronger. And all I know is, when you do to the least of these, God has a way of doing to you. So what I'm saying is, you know, you know what we do here as a church? I don't say a lot, but we do, we do give money away. We, we help people. I know just because back in the old days they would have Sunday night service, they would, they would do some different things. People don't have Sunday night service. That's okay. I, I, I like breaks too. But you know what we do? We, we, we support our church. Maybe it's different. Some of you probably do. We support wounded warriors. We support uh, the Shriners. What's the other one? Uh, St. Jude. I know maybe that's minor stuff. We support missionaries overseas. We do. At Christmas, I wrote hundreds of dollars, you know, just said, Sue, get these out. Why? Because that's our calling. Our calling is to be a blessing. Listen, and that's you. That's you. Here's what I want to say. Let's get stronger. All right? Let's get stronger this year. If you want to see your breakthrough, get stronger. What does that mean for you? You and God need to take that up. If you need to get stronger by being nice to someone, how you talk, by doing your part, I don't know. You, you, you get together with your loved one, yourself, whatever. You go have your breakfast and think about how you can get stronger. Oh, I've only been at church two times in 52 weeks. Well, try to make it four times. It, it, well, I, I yelled at that person. Uh, um, I'm not going to yell at that person tomorrow. You know what I'm getting at. Okay, the last thing again. Amazing things. What I'm saying to you is, I know God wants to do some things in your life. I know. Why? Who else is God going to work through? He works through you. You're his disciples. I don't feel like a disciple. Would you think Peter was such a good guy? 
You, any of the disciples, they were common, ordinary people. That's God's people, common, ordinary people. God could have chosen a lot of different ways to come. He comes to common, ordinary people. He's in you. You're his body. You and, and anyone that confesses the name of the Lord. So here's what I want to say. God wants to work through you. God wants to give you the desires of your heart, give you a good family, give you a good job, a good relationship. Amazing things. Here's what needs to be on your mind this year. God, do those amazing things. But then be thinking about what you want and God, do it. I always have four or five things that I'm always giving to God, big things that I need done, that I need help with. But, but you know what? But also I know that comes with a responsibility. When I give that to Lord, now I got to prepare myself. I just know how this stuff works. So what I'm talking about is getting it right. I can't go acting like the devil, living any certain way, and expect a good outcome. You know that's not going to work. So here's what I'm going to say. Where are we going in 2023? We're coming up higher. We're doing better. Why? Because your boat is coming in. My brother, my sister, you're going to look back on this year. You're going to look back and say, okay, sure, I had some things. But you're not even going to look at those troubles because you're going to see that God did some things in your life that you never thought could happen. You've given up on some of those dreams. You've given up on some of those things. And God made them happen. And you know how it started? By you tightening the belt, by you doing your part, by you getting alone in your closet, okay? The preacher's too lazy. He don't have the, 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 the prayer groups, early morning prayer groups like he should. Uh, but you can go in your own closet on the way to work. You can consecrate yourself to the Lord. Lord, you're, you're mine. I give you this day. This is your day. And now I'm looking forward to some great things to come my way. You look at that text on your phone. Instead of you think it's a bill collector, there could be something great coming your way. Here's what I want to say. Amazing things are coming your way, my brother, my sister. Why? Because the time is close and God's about ready to close out this thing and he wants to work through his people. He wants you to shine. He wants you to show the devil who's really in charge. He wants to uplift the family of God, the people of God. He wants to work through you and that's you. So amazing things are coming your way. <laughs>